everybody. This is going to be our last episode of Ford Center for the 2022-2023 season. But I want to take a quick moment to look back at 10 moments we've had at Fort Chiswell this year. Coming in at number one, this is not only the first year of sports entertainment marketing, but the first season ever of Fort Center. <laughs> at number two, the girls basketball team won region championships for the first time in Fort Chiswell. At number three, the all-around MAC placed third in their competition this year. And at number four, it's been many years, but we've now have another foreign exchange student coming from Spain. At number five, the band has competed in four competitions and has won two of them. At number six, the Winter Guard has competed in six competitions and coming first place in two of them. And uh, coming at number seven, the volleyball team has had a much improved season this year. Coming in at number eight, the advanced marketing class has raised over $3,600 for yearbook ads. And number nine, our football team has won a first game in two years, beating Giles and Auburn. At number 10, Miss Tate becoming our new assistant principal. I'm Blake, this is Jacob, and welcome to Fort Talk. Today we are interviewing a different senior around the school that deserves a senior spotlight. Would you please welcome Dylan Arnold. What college do you plan on attending if going, or what are your plans after high school? I plan to attend WCC for the 10-week underground power course and then continue that by working for my father. Very nice. What are your favorite activities outside of school? Uh, probably rodeo, getting to travel, hang out with all my friends. What is your favorite drink? Had to go with the Coke. Very solid. Thank you, Dylan, for allowing us to interview you. This has been Fort Talk with Jacob and Blake. Hey, guys. I'm Brianna. This is Riley, and this is Carmen. And together, we're going to be talking about girls' spring sports. Today, we're here with Brianna Matthews from our soccer team. So, Brianna, how long have you played soccer? I've played soccer since kindergarten, which from now would be 11 years. Nice. Um, what's your favorite part about soccer? Definitely scrimmaging because that allows competitiveness between the teammates. Just having fun. Well, that's great. So what are your goals for this season? Definitely to attract more female players to play um, soccer since we want to have a girls soccer team. Well, that's great. So thanks, Brianna, for answering these questions for us today. And now I'd like to recognize our senior athletes, Riley and Carmen. Go Pioneers! Today we are here with Ethan Carr, the number one seed on the tennis team. How's the season going? Uh, we're winning pretty well. Haven't lost a match yet. Um, who has been your toughest opponent so far this year? Uh, Grayson County. Grayson. Um, how far do you want to make it this year in tennis? I like to make it state. State. What's your goals for the team this year and in, your, as an individual? Uh, just to make it as far as we can. All right, well, thank you for joining us on the Fort Center. Thanks for having me. Hello, Mason. Thank you for taking the time for this interview. When did you first start playing tennis? When I was in sixth grade. Who is your doubles partner? Tanner Mabry. What is your best shot in tennis? Probably my serve. Thank you, Mason, for taking the time again. Thank you, everyone who has tuned in for each segment. Tune in next year. Hi, it's Kimmy today with Fit of the Week, and I'm here with the Prom King and Queen of 2023. So, Jessica, how does it feel to be Prom Queen? Well, when I was crowned, it was really shocking. I wasn't expecting to even be on the court, and I just want to thank everybody who voted for me and got me this experience my senior year. That's amazing. What about you, Sam? How do you feel about being Prom King? It was shocking, but it felt good. Well, that's all we have time for for today. Bye, guys. Hello, Fort Center. We are interviewing the student of the week today, and today we've got Jasmine Serrano. Congratulations on being the student of the week, Jasmine. Thank you. Thank you. Now, how does it feel to only have one month of high school left? I feel relieved. I want to get out of here. I don't blame you. I feel the exact same way. Yeah. All right, and what are you planning on doing after high school? I plan on going to WCC for two years. 
Okay, are you talking about the free thing yeah, that you get? Free thing, yep. Nice. I found one. <laughs> All right, what's your fondest memory of school that you can think of? Back to anywhere that you can think. Watching Polar Express movies during the winter time, like nice. Christmas. Yeah. All right, and I'm gonna pass the mic over to Brent. All right. Um, how has your senior year been? It's been really great. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Fair answer. Fair answer. At least it's over. I've I've heard you do color guard. What is, what is your favorite thing about it? I love winning. There it is. I'm a John. <laughs> Thank you for taking the time with us to come and talk to us, Jasmine. And as always, we'll see you next time. As we come to the end of another very good school year, we're looking forward to go with new changes, new adventures, and more seasons of Fort Center to come for the next year. And for one last time, Go Pioneers! <laughs>